Hi, Marianne. Alan Calgill, and um, finally getting back to you on the uh, PPM uh, guidelines that you did for me. And um, what I did was I got a guy working for me that uh, has looked at a lot of PPMs and asked him to go through it and help me out. And he came back with uh, a number of page, uh, questions. And what I'm going to do is go through this by page. And so on page one here right now, and so, and just read to you his notes and then let you uh, handle them however you want. Uh, they go from, uh, there's a couple things where it's like a theme. I'll talk about those that he goes through the document on, on a couple items. Uh, other things are just questions. And then, uh, and then there's a couple minor typos. But, um, uh, so, uh, any overall, the document's awesome. So, um, I'm, uh, I'm starting to really... Uh, sell more of these, but I got to get I got to get this document finished up and get it out to the folks. So, um, anyhow, on this page, uh, he wrote a note. Actually, I had the same question: is when you go through this document, uh, how do we know it's just you giving us instructions versus what you really want them to physically put down in the document? And so. Um, uh, so he asked the same question. His question was, uh, how do we tell in this her notes versus what goes into the actual PPM? So um, uh, that, that was what he was thinking. And then on this page, page two, he had a note that says, is this a C or an S? Um, uh, he, didn't, he couldn't tell that um, and what we were dealing with. Um, I think you did it for a C corporation, but I don't think the PPM says that. So that's what he was looking for. Uh, let's see what he's got down here. On this uh, last sentence in the second paragraph on page three, he says, um, uh, here we talk about uh, things being uh, gray, and uh, there's nothing gray in the document. Uh, let me see. Next uh, Page seven. Skip ahead now to page seven. And down here at the bottom, um, it, it's talking about the wording in different states. Now, I think the way he worded this it isn't right, but you'll understand what he's trying to say. Uh, he says, uh, have investors from five different states, do you have to have five different PPMs state-specific? Um, or just the sheets clarifying the state's language. I think all you're talking about here is just the state's language, but apparently um, it confused him a little bit. So, um, and he's really trying to help me with this. Uh, right in here, what page am I on? I'm on page eight. He asked, once again, is this C or S? Uh, and then he made a note on this sentence right here uh, about it being very uh, generic. And it just says real estate investing. So, you know, I think where he's coming from there is are we talking about office buildings or strip malls or, uh, or is this okay? So he just had a question on that. Uh, the next paragraph down here, um, uh, only ways to, uh, is there multiple ways to structure? Like this, what we got in here, I'm assuming that there's multiple ways of structuring. So I think where he's coming from is for my students, should we note that, that this is just one of many ways to structure? Let's see. Next page is going to be page 9. Let's skip down here a little bit and see what Kevin had to say here. Oh, back up here. Do you invest primarily invest? So one of those got to go away. Uh, second one needs to go away. Um... He asked a question here on the next paragraph. Uh, is this cost prohibitive for smaller uh, companies on getting uh, uh, audited financials? Um, let's see. Now on page 10. Let's see. On uh Right here, this sentence here, it says, basically, however, you specify that you will act in good faith and manage the affairs of the company, and the, you and 
other directors. He put the word any other director. Should there be an any right here where my cursor's at? I don't know. It sounded okay to me, but that's what he asked about. Uh, now, where we talk about sole manager right here, it sounds like we're talking about a PPM. I'm sorry. <laughs> sounds like we're talking about an LLC as opposed to a C or an S corporation. Since it said the word manager, and you, in, an, in an LLC, obviously, it's managers. Now, um, here where we talk about managers, should this say officers? Got the word manager here and managers here. Should that uh, uh, say officers? And then here, this is one of the themes that he goes through. Uh, he says, uh, if multi-states, is there any, any different sheets for them here? So that's one of the themes that, that keeps coming up for Kevin. Um, here we talk about, and I was confused on this too. Here we talk about 24 months, and then down here we got the dates that's less than 24 months. We've got like six months down here at this bottom paragraph. So there's a difference between this and this, the way it looks to us. Now, maybe we're wrong. You're, uh, more, you're uh, frankly, more of an expert than him and I put together on this. Um, page 12. Um, he put a note right here in front of Mr. Owner in this next to the last paragraph, and he says uh, other options. So, um, owner on best uh, on best efforts based. Is there other options on that? Um, and then in the very last down here, he said is subscribe subscriber versus investor or versus yeah investor lender um you know what's the best word and this will be another theme he's got coming up should we be talking about the private lenders um uh, being uh, subscribers so uh, he underlined the word subscribers here and then subscription here and maybe they're fine, but he's just looking for clarity. Down here it says, may accept as many, 35. And he's saying, should we have the word in here, right before 35, as many as, AS, 35, or should we have in here up to 35? So he was looking for something there. Uh, next, I'm on page 13. Next page is 14. Uh, down at the very, very bottom um, it the very last sentence here he's got this underlined where it starts with no more than 15 percent maybe and it goes on here allocated in working capital or general corporate corporate uses um, I don't he didn't give me a sentence on that I don't know I don't know what he's looking for there but maybe just me pointing it out will uh, clue you in on something that maybe maybe something needs to be changed or maybe it's fine I don't know now down here at the end on page 15 or I'm sorry page 16 I'm down at the bottom of 16 now after we read this paragraph right here what Kevin wrote he said so the so can the company buy them back so you know here on the risk factors can they buy you know can they buy the uh, the the securities back, um, or in the case of disaster, is the investor unable then to protect himself and liquidate? So maybe even the investor, the private lender, couldn't even liquidate. So anyhow, here we go back with on page twenty eight. Skipping ahead here to twenty eight. I hope I haven't messed you up on these page numbers here. Um, because I had them all, all my pages that I needed to talk about all together, and I might have skipped a few um, and mentioned the page. Um, okay, on page 28, where it's talking about investor, and this comes up throughout here, and I'll point them all out. He's saying, should that be subscriber? And then he underlined the word subscription here, and then he underlined the word investor here. And then over here, investor here. So he's wondering if the word investor should be changed to subscriber. 
Another theme of his was CRS. So he's asking here, the company is a corporation. He's saying what kind again, CRS. Here again on this other theme on investor, um, he's, he's underlined it here. And then over here on the notes, notes for the his or her, uh, he's saying the word the ought to come out of there. He's got that circled. And then right below that, he underlined the word investor. Down at the bottom, underline the word investor here. And he underlined the word investor here on page 29. And page 30, um, he just went through and underlined the word investor. So we got it here. We got it here. We got it here. Investors, uh, down here it's investor request. Down over here it says investor has and investor acquisition. And then he's got the word investment. He, under, he circled that. I, he didn't give me a note. I can't tell you why. But then he had the word important on number 10. So the investor is not subscribing to the offer as a result of any advertisement article or communication by a newspaper, magazine, or print media, uh, or the investment via radio or TV, internet broadcast, any seminar or meeting which the attendees were invited. I think what you're saying there is the, the investor, the subscriber, whatever they're called, is investing because of this document, even though they might have seen it on TV because with uh, uh, the rule C you can advertise on on TV. I think that's where, in radio, I think that's where Kevin's coming from. <coughs> like, uh, is that accurate? And then through the rest of this, he's underlined the word investor again. So, investor here, investor here, uh, investor here. Apparently, he's seen other ones that have the word subscri sub subscriber in. So, investor here. Uh, last one I got, 30, 31. Uh, he just underlined the word investor here. And then over here, governing laws, he's saying, once again, what about multiple states? So what he's done when he's gone through this is he's come up with some themes, like should the word investor be subscriber? Um, we've dealt with uh, North Carolina here. Um, and uh, uh, what happens if it's multiple states? Oh, by the way, I missed one. I know someplace in here it says Massachusetts. And... Um, Doggone it. I don't know where that's at now. Um, and then the other thing theme is uh, C or an S um, on this. And um, so I'll tell you what, on the Massachusetts, I'll put the page number down um, when, I, uh, when I shoot this over to you. So uh, I, hope, I hope this helps and doesn't doesn't confuse you more. I'm trying, really trying to, to do it right and get this thing over the goal line for us. So um, I thought you did an awesome job on it. I appreciate all your help. So anyhow, um, on the um, navigating and the uh, uh, other document, the uh, uh, decision tree, uh, I haven't had a chance to work on that. So you can see I'm obviously way behind on some things. So anyhow, I hope you're uh, really having a good time, and, uh, and you take care. Bye-bye.